The greetings were warm and friendly, but this could not have been an easy meeting. The French president and Israeli prime minister are divided over the U.S. decision to recognize Jerusalem as the capital of Israel, a move that has drawn international condemnation. I have expressed to Prime Minister Netanyahu my disapproval of the recent declarations of the President of the United States that France believes to be against international law and dangerous for peace. Macron called on Israelis and Palestinians to restart talks, urging Netanyahu to freeze illegal settlement building as a gesture for peace. Netanyahu said he was open to discussions, but that there could be no question over Jerusalem's status. Paris is the capital of France. Jerusalem is the capital of Israel. It's been the capital of Israel for 3,000 years. It's been the capital of the Jewish state for 70 years. The Israeli leader also hit out at the Turkish president. Erdogan had spoken to Macron by phone on Saturday, the two men reaffirming their condemnation of Trump's announcement. Mr. Erdogan has uh, attacked Israel. You ask, what is my response? I'm not used to receiving... Uh, um, lectures uh, about morality from a leader who bombs Kurdish villagers in his native Turkey. Palestinian leaders say that the United States can no longer be considered an honest broker in any future peace talks and that, say some experts, could leave the door open for Emmanuel Macron and France to take the lead. But not everyone here was pleased with Macron's decision to host Netanyahu. On Saturday, hundreds of protesters gathered in central Paris. Jerusalem is not the capital of Israel. It's not only the Palestinian capital, it's the capital of all religions, whether for Muslims, Christians or Jews. Macron recently mediated in the political crisis in Lebanon. He may be seeking a greater role in this one, but if he was looking for encouraging signs, there were few to be found here. Natasha Butler, Al Jazeera, Paris.